Okay. Hey guys, thanks for coming by today. Don't be fooled into tax certificate investing. I'm a little hot about this. So you'll forgive me if I go off topic a little bit. Okay. Let's first discuss the differences between tax certificates and tax deeds. Tax certificates are only offered in June. We're talking about Florida now. Tax certificates are only offered in June. One time a year, batch sales, every county in the state, lots and lots of tax certificates should you want them. Tax deeds, on the other hand, the sales occur monthly, sometimes bi-monthly or twice monthly uh, in some counties in Florida. There's a lot of properties that you can buy in Florida and the opportunity is every month, twice a month, maybe four times a month, depends on the county. Tax certificates generally offer no property rights. Tax deeds offer property ownership. So with a tax certificate, once you make application for a tax deed, uh, the amount of money that you had to pay to bring that tax certificate to sale, now turning it into a tax deed application and now a tax deed sale, if there's no bidders on that property, uh, you will be offered the opportunity to buy it yourself and if you're in Florida and there's no bidders, I would run away as fast as I can because the Florida bidders are very savvy. Nobody's going to let anything go by where they can make money off of it. So if everybody forgot about it, you forget about it too. So let's see. If everything goes perfectly with your tax certificate investment, you'll make a few shekels. You'll make a little bit of interest. With a tax deed, if things go perfectly you can make some real money. No question. So what could go wrong with my purchase of a tax certificate versus what the pundits are saying? Right now there's a proliferation on YouTube about guys trying to sell you on the idea of buying tax certificates. Now I know nothing about tax certificates in any other state. There might be some value to those. But as far as tax certificates in Florida, there's no value. There's no value. You can earn big returns up to 18% my eye. The only way you'd earn 18% is if no bidders showed up. Because the competition in Florida will not allow you to earn 18%. You're going to have to be satisfied with 5. 5% 5 is all you're going to earn on tax certificates in Florida. I know what they all say, but they all don't go to the sale. The banks and the big financial institutions, they dominate the sale because they're happy with a 5% return on someone else's money. That's what it is, 5% on someone else's money. So if I didn't put nothing up, I'm cool, I'll take the money. But if it's your own money... You probably could go to your financial advisor, some guy that knows stock market stuff or insurance stuff or anything else other than this and earn an easy 5% because this is not an easy 5%. Early payoffs. When somebody gets notice that a tax certificate was sold on their property, 80% of them will pay them off within the first 60 days. They don't want to risk it going to tax deed, even though they don't realize they have two years to redeem. 80% paid that sucker off early, so you spent all that time researching. You put up your money, you bid everything, and get, get your certificate, and then 60 days later it gets paid off and you make 85 cents. It's not worth it. There's also additional costs to enforce your lien. So, for example, your certificate is sold, you hold it for two years, Nothing's going to happen. You have to make it happen. And what do you have to do? You have to make application for a tax deed. So you go to the county administrator's office. You make application for the tax deed. You have to pay all the outstanding certificates that were there ahead of you. So your $5,000 investment now turns into $22,000 investment. So now you're out of pocket twenty two dollars well, there is a little twinkling of happiness once you make the application for a tax deed because once you make the application, you get 1.5% per month until the sale occurs. That could be anywhere from 30 
maybe 60 if you're lucky 90 days and you earn 18 percent but that's only between the time that you make applications and the time the sale takes place so it's too much work man and the funny thing is there's no way to avoid this mess no way to avoid it if you tie a certificate and you want to make application for a tax deed you got to wait to two years you got to make the application you got to come out of pocket with everybody else's certificates that were ahead of you you got to come out of pocket for clerks fees before you know it like I said you're in for four times what your investment was there's got to be a better way and I'll tell you what that better way is. It's time to consider investing in tax deeds. They're relatively easy to learn versus other forms of real estate investing. Like foreclosure auction investor. A little tougher because you got to know what you're bidding on. you got to make sure everybody gets named and served. Wholesaling investing. Everybody and their father is trying wholesale investing. Therefore, the competition is immense. Short sale investing is great but the market's got to be ripe for it. And my favorite, defaulted mortgage note investing, which where you can really shine as a real estate investor. But that's more of a specialized investment technique, and I don't think that a lot of you guys are ready for that. If you are, I got a course on that too, believe it or not. So with tax deed investing, you take ownership of real property. Lay your hands on it. You can rent it out, you can sell it, you can do what you want with it, you can move in. You have to obtain clear title, but it's easy. It all depends on what your business model is, and there's three ways to do it. I have many videos on that. You obtain actual possession. You move in, you can do what you want. And if you're smart, you can receive a discount on every occupied property that you acquire. And that's called leveraging surplus, and I've got some videos on that also. So in any event, I've got a tax deed course coming out. This is October something, uh, early October. The sale ends November 1st. There's a link somewhere in here, on here. Uh, there's a link right here in the middle, but it's it's too cumbersome. I don't think you'd be able to do anything with it. I, I don't know why I put it up there. But in any event, uh, thank you for attending, and I hope I enlightened you a little bit and gave you some ideas about how to begin your tax deed investment journey. In any event, thanks a lot. See you later.